This is the 2023 Upco 2x2 work bike. Today we're taking it on an adventure. That's coming up right now on Riding Sports TV. What we have here today is the 2023 Upco 2x2 utility bike. Now this specifically is the work bike trim. However, you can get fancier versions that have turn signals and mirrors and are fully street legal. This one is more for adventure in the great outdoors and it is equipped with all the stuff you need for environments like this. It has mud tires and it comes with two 1000 watt electric hub motors. That means yes, this is all wheel drive. There is no central drive unit. Instead, what we have here is a 3.1 kilowatt hour battery. That is an automotive grade battery that can give up to 75 miles of range. And this can carry up to 330 pounds. That's rider and gear. Now, speaking of gear, there's 19 connection points plus racks in the front and the back. So you can fully equip this, whether you're hunting, farming, or just having fun. Today, we're doing the last one. We're having fun. We're just outside the foothills of the Cascade Mountains near Ellensburg, Washington, and we are gonna hit these high hills uh, to find the University of Washington Observatory, which is over there somewhere. It's about 10 miles out, and we're gonna be going through mud, rock, and snow. So without further ado, let's get this adventure started. So starting up the electric Upco 2x2 is actually really easy. All you do is hit this button twice. Light comes on and it's ready to go. So we have a full review of this Upco 2x2 on the channel already, but just so that you're familiar with what we're doing here, uh, the controls here are we have a twist throttle on the right, uh, which is where the start stop is. Uh, we do have brakes here to see. Yeah, right, right handle is front brake, left handle is uh, back brake. Other than that, it's basically twist and go. So let's start our adventure. So if you're thinking this looks really bouncy, it is. This is really rough. This road is all rock. Ah, let's see if I can adjust the suspension a little bit better here. Soften it up. So let's go uh, fast on the rebound. How far can we go there? I don't know. Uh, let's do soft on the preload. Oh, soft on the, it's already on the preload. Let's see if that fixes anything. Oh, that front wheel drive. All wheel drive is weird because you have all the weight on the back wheel. So the front wheel really scampers a lot. Actually, that did improve things a little bit. Man, if anything is a test for durability, this road is it. It is rough. I've driven this on cars multiple times, like trucks, SUVs, but I've never ridden a bike on it. You definitely feel a lot more here. Whoa, whoa, getting bounced around. Ha, whoa. Oh, there, there. Nice. Okay, I got 10 miles of this or more. I haven't actually calculated how much we have. By the way, the fenders on this thing do a really good job of keeping my legs dry. I'd like to say what speed I'm going, but I can't tell because this lower trim doesn't have a gauge cluster. You get that on higher trims. I don't think you can tell with my helmet, but I have a huge grin on my face. Ah, so of course the point of a vehicle like this, it's not about going fast because 30 miles an hour is pretty darn fast on a road like this. Unless you're running a race, in which case we're not. I mean, this is cool, but it's really rough. And if I hit a big rock, there goes my front wheel. for a slow-mo. So I did have this attached to uh, the mounting points, but it wasn't fast enough for filming. So I've taken it off. If I was wanted to go personally mount it for a longer trip, uh, then it would be fine on the side. But I need to mount and unmount the camera very quickly here to get these sweet slow-mo shots. Woo. 
because this wide open throttle, by the way, is you get a lot of kick on the bottom end. And then as then you slowly accelerate after that up to the top speed of 30. Somehow in my head, I forgot about all the rocks on this course. Oh man, if we don't get a flat, it'll be a miracle. It's got plenty of kick. I mean, I weigh 220 pounds, I'm six foot one. It's a little on the small side, but it's not uncomfortable. And with these really wide handlebars, it's very stable. The full-size wheels help too. Much as I like splashing in the mud, there's my legs. Oh, I am completely covered now in mud. Oh man, my legs are trashed. Oh, oh, there's my legs. There's my legs. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go in the deepest spot. <laughs> okay, we got this. I mentioned this is slippery and very, very wet. Ay, ay, ay. It may not be raining up above, but I'm getting wet down below. A little single track on the side. Oh, that's muddy and wet. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's muddy. I think I can do this. All wheel drive, baby. Okay, and we got this. <laughs> Benefits of a small, nimble bike. You can get out and carry it if you need to. Well, not really, it's 200 pounds, but let's say uh, you can push it up a steep hill. How about that? So I would really like a battery gauge on this thing. Unfortunately, you have to pair it with your phone. And I find that the pairing app is a little flaky. At least on my iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro it is. So the suspension could feel a little better. It's definitely a lightweight suspension. I get a lot of rattling on it, which obviously a proper higher end system wouldn't do. But ah, for what this is and for the price, I'd say it's not bad. I mean, considering, you know, throw the premium in there for this being electric, never having to pay for gas, Never having to do much anything as far as maintenance goes. Ah, those are my feet. They're wet now. If they weren't wet already, they're wetter now. Definitely a lot of ice on the side of the road, but our main line is clear. Oh, ah, let's get this thing washed a little bit. Oh, big rocks, big rocks. Come on, big hill, you got this. You got this, oh, that's steep. It's doing it, it's a little mountain goat. Wow, this road is trashed. Usually this road is a lot smoother, but we're just having runoff from the snow right now. Oh, a lot of the rattling is the battery pack. Oh, that's jarring. Should get smoother up here, I think. I think. Oh no, here's the first big hill. Now, if you watch my uh, main channel, Driving Sports TV, you've, uh, you might have seen me slide backwards in a Hummer on this thing. Yeah, the new Hummer EV, 10,000 pounds of sliding backwards. Let's see how this little EV does. Now, of course, today, we don't have nearly as much ice, which is good. My throttle is on maximum, and we're still climbing, but we're not to the steepest section yet. Come on, oh, ah, mud, 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 mud. Oh, that's deep, okay, we got this. It's actually conditions like this that are perfect for an all wheel drive electric. You got that bottom end torque. And you also have oh, ice, oh, that's ice. And of course, all wheel drive. And then this one specifically comes with Nice mud tires. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo, made it. Oh, we are on ice now. Uh, I think we found the ice, oh boy. 
Now we get to see how this thing handles on ice. Whoa. Come on, you got this. Oh, mud. Ah, that's slippery. Whoa. I am so going to bite it today. Oh my gosh, ice. Ah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay in the ruts, stay in the ruts. Ah, leg is now very wet. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, ice, ice, baby. Here's a nice view. Woo! Dellinsburg. Man, that observatory is really far away. Okay, let's go. Let me just bust some miles out here. It's getting colder around all this ice. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got, we got lots of ice here. I'm gonna walk ahead, see what we got. I wasn't expecting this to be a snow and ice episode. Thank you, I'll see you in a bit, hopefully. Okay, I just, I just told my support vehicle to stay back because uh, hazardous. I'm going on alone. I'm hoping there's enough drain ruts on the side here that I can ride on. Uh, Cause I, even though, yeah, you can ride in snow and ice with a motorcycle, I've done it a lot, especially when I was in my teens and I only had one mode of transportation. Uh, but the fact is it's a little hazardous for the uh, support vehicle. So let's not risk it. And we're gonna keep on going. Woo! Ah. This isn't bad so far. Let's see if we can keep this pace up. Oh, oh man, that is harsh. Oh. Still going. This thing is durable as that. Woo! Okay, up we go, up we go up the river, through the woods. Grandmother's house maybe is up here somewhere. Oh, geez. Okay, we got this. Oh my God, the ice is just not stop. Come on, up we go. Glad I left the support vehicle behind. Use that front all wheel drive. Drag me up slow, but at least I'm gonna go. Come on. Woo! Dancing. Come on. Try to go a little slower here. And it has like one speed fast. Going down this is gonna be interesting. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there we go. Oh! Ah, we can get clean in the snow now. That's nice. There we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just when you think you got it, you don't. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna fall for that one again. There we go. I wanna note that that 75 miles range does not include riding like this, that's for sure. Whoa, slippery. Now I got some mud. Oh, some mud is an understatement. Oh my gosh. Come on, get up, get up. Get up, you got this. Oh, my socks are now officially wet. That's great. Come on, you got this. Yeah, just keeps on going. Okay, now we're officially rock climbing. That's good. 
check that off. Yeah, let's get over here back on the track. Woo! Okay. Oh, branch, bush. Come on. Oh, it's just getting worse. Okay, I think this is the final climb. See if we can do this. Stay in the ruts. Come on. More power. It's trying. It's helping, actually. Just got to keep balance here. And we're doing it. Come on. I'm so close to the observatory. That's tough. That's really tough. Hey, come on, we got this. Oh, there we go, a little, little traction. Now it's gone. I'm out of shape. Let's go. Let's go over here on the rocks. There we go. Oh man. We are so close. Oh, ho, ho. foot deep. Now let's get through the deep stuff. Ah. 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 Okay, let's get back up. Well, I think that is the end of our journey. Uh, the snow is just getting too bad. The bike did great, uh, but physics trumps electronics this time. Uh, we just can't get grip. We're just absolutely sinking in this stuff. And there's only more of it ahead. So we'll have to hit the observatory some other day. For Riding Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthat. Thanks for coming along on this journey. This was a fun one and we'll definitely do it again. Maybe with this bike, maybe with a different one. <sighs> no, I just need to get back. Right. They would just back down the whole hill. <laughs>